Hello again, my name is Erin O'Connor and welcome to part two of using the image map link mapper tweak. I'm going to start this tutorial. This part of the tutorial is all about writing the HTML that you'll need to use in this tweak. And instead of starting in Blackboard, I'm actually going to start um, with our free online image map editor. This is just a web-based um, editor, so I will leave the URL in the instructions for this video. Uh, now, what I'm going to do first is just run you through the steps and then show you how we get to the HTML. If you do need any other assistance, make sure you check out the tip sheets, and if you're a QUT staff member, you've got access to the Tweak demo site. So really quickly, the first thing to show the map editor is which image we're going to use. And so I'm going to click on Choose File, and that will give me a very basic um, look into my, my computer where I've saved in a folder my image. I'm going to click on the image and click Open. And it's very similar to attaching an image to an email. Um, then I click Upload, and you'll see that it has a little bit of a think, and I get this message, Uploaded Image, and that's my file name, so that's working really nice, nicely. And then a little bit of an extra annoying step, I sometimes forget it, is to click on Accept for this one. So further down the page, you'll see that my image is actually uploading. I know you can't see all of it yet, but you will be able to when we get it into Blackboard. Uh, what I'm going to do next is just to highlight the areas that I want to be clickable, or that I want to be hotspots. And I'm just going to do two to keep it nice and simple for us today. So I'm going to put my cursor over here, and instead of doing a click and drag, it's actually a click, take your fingers off the mouse button, drag the mouse over the area that you want to be clickable, and then another single click. Okay, So not a click and drag like you might normally do, single click, drag the mouse, and then a single click again. And I've left a little bit of space around the words that I want to be clickable because I know we're not all super accurate with our mouse. I just want to make it really easy for people to click into those hotspots. Now you'll notice as I did that, there's actually extra rows up here appearing and they relate to each of the clickable hotspots that I've created. So this overview is called zero. When I look up here, there's a row labeled zero and that relates to it. So I just need to type in some information. The first bit's really easy. A pound or hash sign by using shift and T3 on your keyboard um, in both of those href spaces. And then in the alt spaces, you want to type the exact folder name or file name that you want these uh, hotspots to link to. I'm going to keep it all really simple. This particular hotspot that I'm hovering over here is called overview, and it relates to this top row. I'm going to type overview in there. And when I get back to Blackboard, I'll show you that I've got a folder called Overview with exactly the same um, spelling and capitalization. And I'm going to do the same with FAQ. So our information is in there. That's pretty easy. And the next bit is to tell them or tell the map editor where you'd like the hotspot to open to. I'm always, I'm just in the habit of always setting it as a new window because I think that that's quite easy for students. When they want to get back to the original page, they just close them down, and they seem to like that. So just to review, we've uploaded the image and made sure we click on that little accept button, which I often forget. Don't worry if you do too. We've added some information here, the hash or the pound, the names of the links, and we've set the target as new window. We can see that our image is uploaded correctly, and it kind of looks like the image I'm expecting to appear in Blackboard. Right down the bottom, there's a little link called Code. You could almost miss it if you're not looking for it. Click on Code, and what you'll see is right down the bottom of this map editor, you get your HTML. It's already written most of it for you. So I'm going to highlight that text, just like you would highlight text in Word. Right-click to copy, and in the next step, I'll show you what to do with that in Blackboard. 